Okay, how sick is it having weed legal? It's cool. I mean, like, it's it's cool because... And downplay it. No, I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's there's there's good and bad. One of my bad is kind of a conspiracy theory type thing, but Hit me. so the bad part of legalization, in my opinion, is, and this is like I said, kind of like a conspiracy theory. There's not really much substance to this, but I think that companies like Marlboro, uh, cigarette companies, or whoever, start to dabble into the weed business. And of course, cigarette companies uh, and everyone are going to want to sell more. So what I'm concerned about is that just like what happened... Crossing it. What? You mean like mixing the two? Right, but not mixing it like necessarily. I mean, like if you look at cigarettes um, and and let's say early days, uh, pick the tobacco straight from the field, throw it in a paper. Now you have all these processed things, a bunch of nicotine, et cetera. So let's say they start putting nicotine in weed or in their cigarettes. Not necessarily tobacco, but they start adding addictive chemicals because to the weeds they want to sell more, and just kind of just like tobacco, they wanted to I, sell I, more. I can get on board with that conspiracy, man. I like that. And I and like I said, I I don't know because there's it's just way different. And it's in, still early days. Way different industry, and it's very early. So I I couldn't I couldn't call that, but that is a concern of mine. I don't mind that. Cool. That's good. Uh, the good is is that you can just order it to your doorstep. And it's not like it's sketchy at all. Yeah, and it's been and it's cheap, and it's been um like tested and whatnot. Yes, and, all that and then you don't have to worry about about like, I mean, I don't necessarily. W- I wouldn't say I would really worry about getting like spiked stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I guess you, yeah, you worry. not necessarily spiked, but like maybe low low mm-hmm. quality. You know what you're buying. You know you're buying certain more to get better. And like exactly. Certain buzz and that's what I found so amazing with the dispensaries and stuff when I was in Oregon. I was just like you can there's different it's not just weed. There's like yeah. all these different weeds and yeah, all you these saw fucking that. different How is it how is it when um cuz we were in in Oregon together when weed you you were there when legal, it was legally yeah. Because it must have been nuts to go into a dispensary. It was, it was the craziest thing. Yeah. I couldn't believe it, right? I think I walked it was like I look. I felt like a kid walking into a candy shop. It's know? just, and and coming from another country, like even my first time when I went in when I was like eighteen, when I had my medical card, it was just kind of like, oh no, like, or not, oh no, it was just <laughs> like, like oh, what my god, the fuck? like you actually look around at all the different types and like little smelling, but <laughs> smelling yeah, but containers. And if stuff. you're eighteen, what four years ago, your parents were telling you not to do it, and yeah. it was a drug and stuff. And then now, all of a sudden, like there's a store. And then, not to mention the CBD and its benefits. I actually, totally. I actually yeah. had um, my hip surgery, like I said, six weeks ago, and I was prescribed oxycontin. Um, my family uh, has kind of a, a history with the addiction, and my aunt is actually uh, involved with oxycontin. So I was kind of just like, mm, I don't want to. Um, so I took Don't the pill bottle. It. I didn't. I, it's not like I didn't grab the pills. I did, but I think I took like one, just to sleep on like the second night. And you're when, like, when the, the best thing ever. I can't touch the. <laughs> nah, but but I, it was like that doesn't do enough difference for me to warrant taking it all the time. It wants yeah. you to take it like twice a day, and just be a zombie. And in my opinion, so so I I I've never I had never used CBD before, as a as a health because yeah, just weed for the fun of weed. Yeah, and like THC high. Like, I'm not one of those, like, weed snobs that's like, well, you know, like, you haven't found the right strain yet. Like, for me, it's all weed, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just to, you know, just, just stop. Whatever does the job. Exactly. But but anyway, CBD, I, I used it to recover from my surgery, and I used it for pain. And I was able to get through the whole process and, in, in like, relatively pain-free. I mean, not pain-free, but, like, I was living, you know? I wasn't... I wasn't just ah all yeah. the time, yeah, yeah, and I and I, and it was actually pretty remarkable because, on that same note of not being a weed snob, I I almost kind of am skeptical about the how much praise it gets from the weed snobs about all these different things that it can do for uh, you. Okay. It's just like really, you just, think they're just like too busy wanking it off? Yeah, and like we're the best thing yeah, ever, exactly. bro. Cures cancer. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know about cures cancer. I think uh, might help it might help the pain and it might, you know. Although there have been some studies done on yeah. rats, I think, or something. With, like oh. potential, it can get rid of the, uh, what are they fucking called? With the big growths? Tumors. Tumors. It's not a tumor. Slip my mind. <laughs> 